Hello, for the past few weeks, the world's top beer making countries have been battling it out to win the Market Kitchen Best Beer Making Country title. And today is the first semi final. Yes, Germany and Belgium and China went out, disappeared, are gone in the first round. And today, Christina Pickard, representing the USA, and Pete Brown, representing Britain, are back. So give a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you, Ben, in the cheerleading costume. Oh, look, this is the perfect gent here. Pete. Absolutely, this is how everyone dresses my booth. Okay, so we're going to go straight through. I'm the landlord, as you can see. My tummy is real. There's no fakery on Market Kitchen. This is a true, true belly. I wear it with pride. I leave it alone. <laughs> okay, you know, Christine, it's the darts to see who gets to speak first. So, ladies first, if you'd like to take All your position, right, please. So see if I do better so than, stuff the, this. than the first round. Look at that. Oh, that's oh, nice. Okay. That is 10. Okay. Very, very nice. Stayed on the board, Well at least. done. Okay, that's it, 10. <laughs> Pete? Look at that, the gent, the stick. No pressure, no the embarrassment. Oh, the Brit, that's nothing. So, Christina, <laughs> you are the winner. Congratulations, and here we go. So, All if you right. follow me, we're going to yes. go. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Christina and Pete have brought on another beer to pitch, which our diners will taste and, of course, make their decision. Christina, as the winner, a very glorious winner over there on the dartboard, yes. it is your turn to pitch first. So, on my bell, get... Pitching. Right, I have brought a uh, Brooklyn Brown Ale from obviously Brooklyn, New York. Uh, it's my home state, so I have a bit of affection for this beer. Um, now, it's done in uh, a really classic sort of northern English brown ale and southern English style. They've combined them both. Also, just Fusion. taken a nice. Yes, yeah. fusion's a nice. good word. Taken a, taken a nice American accent, put some lovely hoppy, roasty notes in there, too. So it's got chocolate in the background, caramel in the background, but also fruity, smooth, very, very drinkable on the foreground. So it goes down very easily. You're selling that very well. <laughs> Pete, you've got a hard sell. Well done. Very nice picture. Pete, same again then. And here goes on the bell. Get pitching. I've brought Jaipur India Pale Ale from the Thornbridge Brewery. Uh, only about five years old, but won so many awards, more awards than any other beer since it's been launched. It's uh, a classic old English beer style, given a 21st century inter interpretation. It's full of incredibly aromatic hops. You've got aromas of mango, lychee, lime, kiwi fruit in there. It's an absolutely amazing aromatic beer. Very fruity and floral on the tongue, but because of those hops, a really lovely drying bitterness at the back. So the fruitiness never builds up perfect balance, yin, yin and yang. Look at this, two pros. Very, so very, very impressive. This is the big battle, Britain versus America. You're watching it here on Market Kitchen. Well, anyway, it's not all about the beer. You have to uh, pitch a much loved beer tradition. Now, beer tradition, a beer game, let's say. A beer game from your country, which will, of course, count towards the final score. So, Christina, if it's all right for you to start with sure. an American bar tradition, let me just remind the viewers that, of course, this is a pub game, a bar game. It does not encourage binge drinking. It is a very, very nice game for people to play. So, don't binge drink doing this. Okay. Right. So, the beer game that I've brought is called Beer Pong. Okay. Now, basically, beer pong. anyone who's gone to university in the States has played it at least a few times throughout their four years in I like university. The sound. Anyway, you'd have the cups lined up in a triangle mirroring on both ends. So, uh, the idea is to get the ping pong ball into your opponent's cup, okay. then they therefore drink it. Okay, so you get it in, so, so basically, get the ball in the cup and drink it. Yes, exactly. Gotcha. Okay, okay, so let's <laughs> you see. Simplify let's, that let's, very okay, you simplify that beautifully. So, I, I'm, I usually do the arc shot. I haven't played this like in this. This is many it. years, so we will see. Oh! It's actually a lot harder. Than it okay. Looks, isn't it? Pete, now, thank you. <laughs> Pete, this is a British pub game that you're going to actually about to show us. So, on the bell, get. Of course, uh, in Britain, we value our beer far too highly to actually uh, do games which involve putting things into our beer. Because yeah. uh, that, be, that would be vulgar. Uh, so, uh, what we've got is uh, just a game that uh, has its origins in people being really bored sitting in a pub uh, yeah. in the afternoon with nothing better to do. The famous iconic beer mat, just flipping it from the edge of the table, trying to get it on top of the pint. And it's as simple as that. Sure and the reward done. is the admiration and respect of your peers. Of course. And, not <laughs> and nothing pint, else. Yeah. So. Oh. I'm utterly useless at this, I'll give it one more try. Oh, oh. Well, there we go, there we go. Both, two very, very great games. Thank you both very much. While the diners taste the beer and we add up the score. Now, earlier on, Britain battled America in the first semi final of the World Beer Tournament. How do you think you did, Christina? Well, I didn't make the cup in beer pong, but otherwise I think I did pretty well. Quietly darn confident, well. quietly confident. So. Pete? I think I did okay, and as my opponent actually brought along an English style beer, Ooh. brewed by a brewer who likes brew in England. Upon. I think, I think Great Britain wins either definitely way. Improved yeah. Okay, upon. okay, let's, let's get out of this controversy <laughs> here and go straight over. Nigel, who are you supporting? Well, I've got to go with the uh, English game and the American beer. Andrew? Yeah, I'm going to say for the pure sociability of your beer game. 
US of A. US of A, the beers on we mentioned. Matthew. Well, not since the Boston Tea Party have I seen such a travesty. I'm going <laughs> for the, the beer of empire, the India pale. Well, 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 we hear a little bit of uh, little bias, prejudice so perhaps coming in, but it's not up to us. It's certainly not just up to us. Our diners have tasted the beers and voted for their favourite beers edition, and I can reveal the winner is. Christina at America! Congratulations! Congratulations! Thank you, I beat England on their own turf. You did indeed, uh, but that's, that, that's commiserations, of course, Pete. I'm very to. sad, but there is still a special relationship between Absolutely. America yeah. and the UK, which is wonderful news. <laughs> join us later this week when Australia battle Mexico to join America in the final, played at the end of the week. That's it for today. Thanks to all our guests and diners. And join us tomorrow when food writer Tamsin Day-Lewis bakes her comfort food favourite, carrot cake. And we continue to make the most of seasonal fruit gluts as food writer and cook Joe Pratt preserves tomatoes, plus I make my comfort food classic cauliflower cheese for under a fiver. So we'll see you then. Yeah. Congratulations!